Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's not so bright and early. It's 9 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Now, if everything goes how I hope, a lot of people will be watching this that have never heard of my channel before. So if you didn't watch the channel before, that's how I usually open my videos. But um, I want to talk about bullying. And uh, there's a reason I want to talk about this today. This is just going to be straight from my heart. And uh, I don't know if this video will get monetized. Probably not. Uh, for some reason, if I put bullying in the title or I say it just like I just said it now, I think uh, some advertisers, advertisers are skittish. But it is what it is. And I feel it's very important that I speak out on this. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Um, well, first of all, I hope the right people see this. If you're a parent of a child you think that's being bullied or if you're being bullied yourself, I hope you watch this. I'm not telling you this just to make you feel better. I'm telling you this because it's the truth. Because I was bullied and I didn't see the big picture back then. And things are so much so different now. Uh, I, I just need to, to let you guys in on this. You know, if, if you've been bullied. And you know what? Even if you are, if you think you're a bully yourself, I hope you watch this. Uh, you probably won't like what I'm going to say though. The reason I'm talking about this is because I, I, on the news this morning... I saw the story of the girl from New Jersey, I believe she was a 14-year-old girl, that took her own life recently. And uh, a video was circulating around the whole school. It was going viral uh, before she took her life that she was uh, beaten, unmercifully hit in the face with a water bottle. And this, the story was on this morning. And her father was talking about this and everything. And uh, this bullying went on before... And eventually she, she took her own life. And I, I looked at this girl, the picture of her, and she was a beautiful woman. And as I looked at that picture, that's where I started to think about how I was bullied myself. You know, and I, I, I was looking at her, this woman and I was thinking she, you know, she had no idea of how things would change. You know, how, you know, things were miserable right at the moment. But this poor girl didn't realize how how brilliant her future was going to be you know she was a beautiful girl and it just reminded me of sometimes people start to listen to these bullies they start believing this stuff and they start thinking the worst themselves themselves and they don't understand that things will change things are bad right then but things are going to get so much better there's two basic things i want to talk about too that i didn't understand back when i was being bullied the reason a lot of these people, I know it doesn't matter to you now if you're being bullied, really, because being, being bullied sucks and you really don't care why they're doing it. It's just that they, you want them to stop. But as I got older, I realized why they were doing it. And it did make me feel better. And the second thing is uh, life has a way of evening out a, lot, a good high percentage of the people that were popular and bullying back when I was in school are you know look at me now i'm fit and uh, i have a good life a lot of the people that picked on me uh aren't still around they're overweight uh they've lost their jobs I, you know and i'm not saying it's a good thing but the karma and life have have a way of evening themselves out believe me all right let me talk about this a little bit i was picked on i am not the person you see sitting in front of you i've gone through a long journey throughout my life when I was younger, I grew up out in the woods. Uh, my father was a park. I lived in the state park. He was the park ranger. and We had a beautiful house in uh, the state park. And uh, I was a big kid. I, I, but I, I grew up out in the woods building forts and by myself. And uh, I was quiet. When I went to school, I was very quiet. And I, I was overweight. And I was a big, goofy, kind of over overweight kid. And I got picked on unmercifully. Uh, I remember the kids back in grade school calling me Fat Man. Fat Man. I remember taking the bus. I, I hated taking the bus. I, I, I dreaded going on the bus every single day. The bus had to go on a long trip down to the state park to pick me up and then back and the kids thought for some reason that it was you know because they were getting to they were getting home it took them longer to get home because they had to drop me off out in the woods and this that was their reason like they needed one uh you know so they i, I was picked on unmercifully i remember sitting on the school bus like i said and i was quiet i was a big kid and i probably could have protected myself but i hadn't learned to yet uh i was afraid and 
things changed. But I remember getting kicked in the back when I was on the school bus, like I was eight or nine years old. And they'd, they'd be laughing behind me. And all of a sudden, bam, you know, I, they'd kick me in the shoulder. Bam, you know, and I'm terrified, you know, and it's just, it happened every day. Uh, to this day, if I get jostled around, you know, I'm a lot bigger and a lot stronger now. And I tell people that, you know, sometimes it's, it's not a good idea to, you know, to get around and push me from behind anymore because my adrenaline will just spike. Uh, I remember having gum thrown in my hair sitting on the school bus. And then I get to school and, you know, you don't want to tell the teachers because, you know, then you rat the kids out and then the, the, it all gets even worse. And, you know, and I have to try to go into the bathroom and get a pair of scissors and try to figure out how to get gum out of my hair. And this was like every day, every week, getting kicked, getting gum thrown in my hair. I remember one of these kids, one of these older kids was on the school bus. And I've always, I told you guys, I'm an artist now, but I, I always loved colors. And this, this older kid, this, this like head bully was wearing this bright shirt, you know, and it looked cool to me. Yeah, I, I loved the shirt. And for some reason in my head, I was like, well, maybe if I try something different today, maybe if I just tell him, hey, you know, I like, it's a nice shirt you got. You know, I thought maybe if I tried something a little different. So I said that and it just got worse. They, they, they said, oh, look, the little, or the, the fat sissy likes my shirt. He's got a crush on me now. And, you know, it just got, no matter what I did, it got worse and worse. Uh, I remember getting chased through the school grounds. Fat man, get the fat man, and they're running all behind me. And one time, I seen this on TV or something. I stopped, and I moved to the side, and I put my leg out. I, I had seen it in a cartoon or something, and it worked. And all the kids chasing me hit my leg and went flying forward into a uh, a fence and hit their faces and it landed on rocks it just it worked better than i could have ever imagined like six of them just boom 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 piling on top of each other and i ended up getting in trouble they ended up telling you know look what he you know daryl look what daryl did to us you know and i ended up staying in i don't know how many weeks recess you know because of that this is stuff i still remember here's the thing uh, you know, you start believing what these kids are saying. You think you start, like I started believing, you know, that I was a coward and quiet and, you know, nobody never liked me. And, uh, and it's not the truth. A lot of these kids are saying things. It's, they're, they're doing this because they're insecure. A lot of times their home life, as I got older, I started to see what their home life, you think they have a perfect home life, but they don't. A lot of times they're getting stuff from, I know this doesn't make your life any better now, but there's a reason they're saying this. And it's not because that you are what they say you are. You're not stupid. You're not ugly. You're not a coward. You're not fat. Um, you're not ugly. These people are saying this because they are hurting, because they are getting abused and picked on or whatever at home. And by knocking you down, it makes them feel that much better. A lot of times, as I got older, I realized this, the families went through this. The same kids that were doing this when I was a kid are parents now. And they're doing it to their kids. And their kids are bullies. And they're going to grow up to be parents whose kids are bullies. And it just, it just goes on and on. I want to share something with you guys. I had a girlfriend, Audrey, who just passed away. She was my age. And we were boyfriend and girlfriend all the way back to fifth grade. And... She, even to up to when she passed away in August uh, 5th of 2021 from COVID, she still, uh, she still remembered this girl that picked on her in school. And, and she just, she, she started believing. You, I, I'll show you guys pictures of her. She was, Audrey was gorgeous. And she wasn't overweight, but she still believed she was overweight. And this, this stuff stuck with her. And... I realized, I told her why I, I could see this from the outside. I knew the girl that picked on her from school. And I, I knew, and I told Audrey, I said, the reason she's doing this, Audrey's family was successful. They moved here as immigrants. And they were hardworking and they became an upper middle class family that loved each other. It was a good, good family. You know, two, two, two girls, and mother and father. And it was a solid, good family with a beautiful home and a pool. And she didn't, Audrey didn't realize that the girl that was picking on her 
she came from a, a family with al an alcoholic father, divorce. Uh, they kept having to move from different apartment, different house to different house. And I told Audrey, you know, Audrey had believed the stuff that this girl had told her for, for decades and it stuck with her. And then I was, I saw this from the other side because I knew the girl that picked on her. I knew their family. And I said, you know, the, the reason she was picking on you is because you had what she didn't have. You know, she was envious of you. She was jealous of you. It wasn't because you were fat or stupid or ugly. It was because it was the opposite. It was because you had so many things that she would never have. You know, and, and I still bothered Audrey, even to the day she passed away. The stuff they're telling you isn't true. It's not true. And things will change as you get older. This is going to be, it's probably going to stay hard for a while throughout school. Once you hit college, things get easier because you become more individualistic. And there's not these cliques and these groups where there's so much insecurity and bullying. Once you hit college, it should get a little better. Once you become an adult, it becomes completely different. And you hopefully you'll realize that you're not the person they say you are. There's a reason they're saying it. It's because a lot of times they're jealous or envious of you because you have stuff that they don't. And, you know, I'm not telling you should, you should feel sorry for them, but you shouldn't believe them. You shouldn't believe anything they say. I think about this poor girl that took her life in New Jersey. And she, what she could have been, where she was going in life. She had a good, loving family, and she was gorgeous as a 14-year-old girl. You know, and she, I guarantee she had a great life ahead of her. And she believed this nonsense that other these these other kids were saying to her, man. And it's just such a, a, a heartbreaking, sad loss. You know, I, I make this video so that you understand that things aren't always going to be bad. The things are going to get better, much better. And you're not seeing the big picture right now. The people that are picking on you, don't believe them because what they're saying isn't true. Don't think less of yourself. There's a reason they're picking on you, and that's probably because you are more. And they are, they are jealous of you. That's the truth. Believe in yourself, and things will get better. I promise you. I'm not just saying that just to make you feel better. Believe me. My life is great. I'm not that overweight, quiet, goofy coward anymore. The same girls that used to pick on me, Back in those days, they asked, they, they were the ones that were hitting on me and, you know, and asking to buy me drinks and dance with me when I was in my 20s. I swear to God, things change. Things are going to get better. And what they're saying is not true. Don't believe them. You're a great person. Have a good Monday.